making sure everyone's here, right? Yeah. Yes. Sounds like everybody's here. I know Chris is here, Oxy's here, Ark's here, you're here, I'm here. Did I forget anybody? I hope I didn't. Matt's here. Uh, what he's missing? Because we only have five in the. Yep. In the no, map. nobody's missing. Everybody's everybody's good to go. Everybody's everybody's here. All right. So we got one more. Who's here? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, that's cool, man. No big deal. No big deal. If you uh, you miss any of the games, you can always, you know, check it out on the on the other the broadcasting on the website and stuff. So no big deal. You won't miss nothing. You may miss it live, but you'll still catch it. So all right, all right. So. Does anyone want to give a recap on what happened last week? I actually I enjoyed last week. I thought it was uh really fun. I thought uh I thought there was a a few things that threw you guys for a for a loop or two, but I think it went uh rather well last week actually. Yes, Moobot doing his job. He's getting paid in uh yellow and blue pills from the Matrix. Anyone with a uh, recap? Anyone? Rannon, you did good last week. You can do another one this week, right? Or was that... I think that was Ark last week, wasn't it? No, I don't uh, think see. so. <laughs> it wasn't me last week, but... um. Well, you can do one this week. It was me. Oh, uh, was it Chris? All right. Oh, no, no, no. No one? You guys want me to do the recap? Well, I'll do the recap I'll if you it. want. All right. I'll do it. I volunteer. Um, I last week it. we, Come I on. got ripped off by a shopkeeper, which was pretty nice. Uh, then we ran into the other party, the sorcery party. They talk us about how we, how they are going to fight the dragons, or might fight the dragons, and then we move to the second bird. And the town leader told us how he has some gargoyles problem. We deal with him, and now we're inside the dungeon, you know, just chilling. And that's where where we left. Also, I think Rian yeah. picked up a, a beautiful staff last yeah. week as well. A really good one. Let it go. <laughs> and I can't put it down. Oh, <clears throat> so good. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> All right, so that's that's basically what happened last week. So you guys are just finishing up combat with three Minotaurs after uh, being in this what was what appeared to be a uh, just a small catacomb with some gargoyles and a a statue of Matt Hallister. Uh, you actually found a portal and played some tricks on you guys, boarded you around. Yeah, you found several enclosed rooms, found some treasure, ran and found a beautiful cursed staff that has cursed him, losing half of his magical abilities, well, meaning half of his spells. And you also found a little secret hidden chamber with a journal that had a little bit of uh, information from one of uh, the Mad Wizard's apprentices that actually escaped. So, all right, so you guys are, are right here. And what do you guys want to uh, continue to do? I think we're in the wrong, wrong map. Yeah, we're still looking at the big map. 
Oh, my goodness. You know what? I, I didn't even uh, switch you guys over. I'm sorry about that, guys. I get an F tonight. The fantastic. So I'll give you guys yeah. uh, a few seconds to uh, discuss amongst yourselves. So, anyone hurt? I think we... I thought we were taking a break at this point um, when we had stopped here. No, we just got finished beating the Minotaurs. Ah, okay. Well, and at this point, I guess we can just decide if we want to actually continue through <clears throat> this place or kind of back out. Because we did essentially come here to what we were supposed to do, and I think from, that, from here on we were just kind of doing the curious, looking around things. I'd rather continue. Okay. We can okay. discard, just... we can continue. Yeah, I mean, we're already like halfway through, we might as well keep going. At least that's my vote. I don't mind going continuing, but the staff is proving problematic. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, maybe there's a cure for that somewhere in here, huh? Yeah. Well, the, the, yeah, the, the cleric had mentioned that he could remove the curse, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Yeah, I can. I'll just need a day. Oh. Well, you can... You could take a short rest. Well, actually, you could take a long rest, get your spells back. Uh, I, th I figured that's what you guys were going to do, but you really never told me what you wanted to do. So if you guys would do that, you run the risk of a random encounter. Uh, but, I mean, it, it might be uh, good to do something like that. So, But that that's I'm up to the party. I'm not keen on... I'm not real keen on resting right here, but I'm also not keen on going back through that portal um, because we all might end up in different locations again. Um, you know, if if we're going to keep going, I'd rather just go through, just keep moving now. Um, otherwise, you know, my vote's going to be, you know, we did what we came to do, and let's just go back to the town. And if my memory serves me correctly, I will refresh your mind uh, there. Uh, Juno, when you left this area, when the Minotaurs uh, were, well, when the Minotaur was chasing you, do you remember where you ended up? You ended up back with us. Correct. Yeah. So that could that could uh, give you a little hint on on what this teleport could possibly do for you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we went through, through all the portals. But it's not like there's another place we haven't checked. Is... Oh right, but you know, we all went through the first portal, and we went to different places. Yeah, so there's no we... reason to assume that if we go back, we'll go to the same place. But it's possible. Well, I mean, eventually going through it enough, we will end up at the right place. But it really yeah. takes some time. So, in any event, uh, you know, I'm for looking for another way out of this place. Um, but that's about kind of the extent of what I would I would do here. Two directions we can go. Well, the Minotaurs were here, so. Yeah, I, I took them off the map. You still have three dead Minotaurs around you, so. But you do know, yeah. uh, Minotaurs actually usually have treasure in their labyrinth, so. Yeah, you do know that. Every you know that's just common lore throughout all adventures. All right, every, so, um, so everybody here got the characters going. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, everybody in the stream. If you guys oh, have any questions, please feel free to. Uh, okay, do you want to lead then? Ask. Yeah. Hey, what's up there, D and D Frank? Okay, well. Nice to see you again. Um, let's let's check down first. See if this is a corner. They are on dynamic lighting as well, so. Uh, they are just seeing whatever is around them. As you, as you can see, the lighting is is moving around. So, <laughs> look at them inching inching their way down. It's so good. I like it. Um, I love I it. I would go. 
Yeah, back towards the uh, towards the east. <laughs> Left or right? East, east right. Be right. Yep, that would be right. All right. On all of no, sorry. On all of my maps, to the right will always be east, and to the top will always be north, unless I say right. otherwise. So, but no big deal. All right. So up should link with the other part. So that's that's it. correct. Go down there. Okay. What? All right. To your um, left. Here. Oh, sorry. Door. Go ahead, Chris. My bad. Is that a door, Dave? Uh, that is a door. Oh, no problem, Aflix. Okay, Good to have you. Like there's also uh, some it's not the viewer game to tonight. It's actually for tomorrow. So you're in good west. shape. Yes, there is a those quickly. a door to your right, right, and it seems to be two more uh, taller gargoyle statues that are about seven to eight foot tall. These are these don't look like the other previous uh, statues that you had seen in the upper part of the labyrinth. But as you get closer, they they seem to have no action. They they don't attack or anything like that. I detect magic just to make sure. Ah, no problem. Yeah, the game is tomorrow. So bubble out and detect magic. Do I sense any magic here? Actually, when you cast detect magic, the spell goes off perfectly, but the the gargoyle statues just remain to be inanimate. So they are they're just regular statues. Uh, but yeah, check the right, forum, Athlix, for and you send me your email on the contact thing? so right. I can get you the I'll game link. And I'll get you the game link tonight oh, no. so you can join oh, the game and stuff. But you are in for tomorrow, Athlix. Uh, you find nothing, but actually, if you would like to give me a dex check, uh, I, I would like to have a dex check roll, though. Okay. God damn you with the good rolls. Yes, you do find a pressure plate actually right in the right in the direct middle of the room and it um, it, it yeah. seems like this whole entire this whole entire uh, rectangular type of room with the gargoyle statues it seems to be two trap doors and and you can actually see that they will swing down uh toward a uh, sort of like a pit all right i'll point that to the party tell them to avoid the pressure plate Okay. And um, can I disable, disable it? Uh, yeah, you you can, sure. Uh, actually, uh, that roll was so good that I'm going to allow you to actually... Uh, yeah, that roll was so goddamn good. Man, every time I put a trap in the game, everybody always finds it. But nonetheless, uh, you are able to uh, deactivate the, uh, the pressure plate. So it's actually uh, good to go, and you can walk over it now. I will still avoid it. I wanted to give you. I wanted to give you this. <laughs> That's what I wanted to give you, but unfortunately, that didn't work out. A anti pit of doom. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Right, Do so we want to check the statues? Yeah, wait, see if there's a there's another statue down here at the end of this hall. All right. I'll check for traps in the middle. See if there's another. No, there are there are no traps in this uh, corridor, in this hallway, in this intersection. Right, I still tell the party to like stick to the the corners, to the sides. Okay. Just in case. Yeah, no problem. But yes, you you do come to this uh, octagonal shape type of room, and there is a statue of a woman elf, a female elf that has her hands outstretched, and there is no other markings on the statue. Anyone know these? Is there any sort of intelligence check I could make to see if I know who this elf lady is? or? Sure, you can give me an intelligence. You can give me a, a search lore. Yeah, sure. Why not? Alright, so... Uh... As you are... Uh, <laughs> as you... As you are scouring the statue, uh, you kind of fumble around a little bit on it, but the statue does turn towards the party, and the oh, statue yeah. does start to speak. 
and the statue says, Hello, I am hungry, can you feed me? Doesn't give you a name or, or anything like that. I have I not ate in out. many years, and I am hungry. Anything will be su anything would suffice. I'll back away a little, just to be safe. Okay, you know, I'll just give it a little bit of my rations. Okay, so you you put it on her hand then. Yeah. Okay, wh when you put it on her hand, <laughs> it, it sort of just uh, how do I say it? It just kind of dissipates into her hand. And she says, thank you very much. And she goes, but I'm still oh, hungry. Why don't you try to put that staff in her hand, Rhiannon? I could, like, bring a minotaur and put it in her hand. Some beef? Well, I, don't know if it, what, I don't know what good it would do, but I, I like, can try. I mean, if it dissolves it, or it takes, you. Takes, <laughs> takes care of your problem. But she says she, uh, the statue, she doesn't give you a name, but she says she is still hungry, and if anybody else would like to, uh, feed her as well, that she would love to have some more food, because she has not ate in many, many, many years. I vote to bring the Minotaur. Well, if you want to go grab one. Uh, I'm a weakling. <laughs> well... I haven't had much luck in the past, but you might as well just try it out, Randy. Yeah, well, if I, what happens if I lay the staff in her hand? Nothing. Yeah. I figured as much. She says, nice staff. Can I have your staff? Well, if I can let go of it, sure. Ah, uh, must be a really nice staff. <laughs> <laughs> One. I'm just kind of taunting you, you know. Rihanna right. just, <laughs> Rihanna just shakes her head. Um. All right. Well, I'll put some rations in her in the other hand. Okay. Those rations kind of dissipate. And she goes, "Hmm, that really hit the spot. Thank you. And what is your what is your name, fellow dwarf? Fellow dwarf." Yes, and then the statue actually polymorphs into a, another statue that represents a female dwarf. And yes, she has a beard. I just don't have a, a female uh, statue. My name is Gim. And what clan are you from, Mighty Gim? Stoneheart clan. Ooh, the Stoneheart clan. They worked in Lork, did they not? Many years ago? I didn't understand what you said. Though. They 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 worked in Lork, meaning that they, they mined for the city of Lork, which is actually what uh, what I've actually uh, added into the lore for, for the town of Lork, which is on the, the black uh, road that is heading towards uh, the Great Peak Mountains. So yes, she was accurate, so... Oh. All right, so I guess my answer would then be yes. Hmm. So is there still lots of platinum and silver and iron in the mountains? But no, it, Lore is basically a... Lork is a dried-up mining town. It's basically just a, a midway point uh, between the east and the west Forgotten Realms. I haven't been to the mines in quite some time, um, or back to the village in some time. Uh, last I heard is that they were uh, the mines were not what they used to be. Uh, unfortunate. Are you still hungry? Yes, I have not ate in many years. I haven't seen any anyone in here for many years to tell you the truth. Is there anything in particular you desire? Actually what you gave me really hit the spot. They were really good. If you could dump some water on my hand, I would appreciate that as well. All right, I'll dump some water in her hand. Mmm, that hit the spot too. This is very unusual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Why have you been here for so long? Because this is just where my statue was placed. And are you the statue? I am the statue. And then the the statue actually uh, dissipates and a chest appears, a rather large chest appears. And then the chest actually says, I can take the appearance of anything that I choose. So you chose to stand here as a statue? Yeah, I get bored from time to time, so I change into different things. Have you ever left this room? No, I cannot. I haven't left this room. I, I suppose if, if you were to move me to a new room, maybe I could have a, a change of scenery. Why can't you leave the room? Because I can't walk. This is my appearance. So you can turn into anything, but no matter what they are, they can't walk? Correct. And then, the top of the chest pops open and says, thank you to the dwarf and thank you for the holy man. You can reach inside and grab a potion. And when the lid opens up, there are an array of potions and you can choose one. No more, no less. And that was for that was for Gim and that was for uh Lormar, the two that actually fed the statue. Uh, that was that was, oh, that was Rhiannon, or, yeah. Okay, Rhiannon. I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh no, they are not. They're just Kedar. they're just different color liquids. You can actually uh, see some as uh, you actually notice some are healing potions. I'll take one of those. Okay, you take Too one. Bad that... uh, too bad I've never heard of a potion of remove curse. It's always <laughs> anyway. There are some pretty wicked dark colors in there. You could probably uh, there's some greens, some purple, some blues, some reds. Can I? Hmm. Never mind. Last time I tried an intelligence check, it didn't go so well. <laughs> Hurry up now. I don't have all day. I've got big plans, you see. Yeah, so I, I will, I'm supposed to know things about potions, but I mean... Well, you can you can tell that there's a, there's a little bit of each in there. And then there's also a couple other potions that uh, actually exceeds your knowledge. Well, nice roll. 21... Tell me about. Uh, you can see that there's basically every type of potion from flying to stealth. Uh, and then there's actually, like I said, then there's some poisons in there. And then there's also a few that you just don't have the skill for. Things that you've never, that you've never learned in the, at the Wizard Academy. Back at your time at Mythdrenor. Not even when I went to Cormier? Not even when you uh, stopped at Cormier to learn now. Oh well. Anyway, so you know, just pick whatever you guys think would be useful. <sighs> Drinking my crystal like oh, I love uh, that stuff. She's gonna require you to pick it. Yes. I'm not willing to take the chance on somebody else putting their hand in there. So you can add a potion of healing to your sheet there again. Who is the other person who gave her bread? Uh, just two people, you and Gim. Those are the only two. I thought someone else gave... It wasn't me, it was someone else. Yeah, you did? I did. Oh, you did? Okay, well, sorry about that. Go ahead and grab a potion out. There's a healing one, I'll grab that one. You got it. You can't really go wrong with a healing potion. And they're just they're just normal healing potions. So they're they're nothing... They're nothing fancy. No, you know, high-level healing potions or anything. So you just wanted a you just wanted a healing potion then? Yeah. All right. 
And then everybody gets their potion, and the lid shuts, and she becomes a statue again. I want to ask if she can transform into a wheel. Into a what? Wheel. A wheel? Yeah. Sure. She transforms into a wheel. All like right. a like a stone type of wheel. You want to roll her into the next room? Have, uh, yeah. Roll, in, roll her into the spike trap room. <laughs> 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 that is friggin' ridiculous. Are you guys gonna do that? No, we're just. Oh, okay. She did ask to go to a different room, so we could at least roll her to the north. Yeah, you could. Yeah. We'll do that. And you also, portions. you got that door back there as well. You could roll her in that room. Uh, I'm not ready for the door yet. Okay. Use her as a. Guessing. Who's on roll duty? Okay, so you are rolling her. And right. she's she's pretty heavy. You know, she's kind of tilting back and forth, but you're able to you're able to wheel her down the the hallway there. So, um, <laughs> and then she goes, "Ooh, this tickles!" Oh. <laughs> Thing to the north would be. Yeah, let's go left. Yeah. Let me know when there's anything. Oh, I was up there in the paper shit. I just uh, wanted this, this looks empty. Mm -hmm. Avoid the needle. Please. There's a room. There's a room to the north of us. Um, something's different here. Floor. I just, I just disappeared into the floor. <laughs> I lost everybody. I was updating my character sheet. Move your character sheet. M move your character, oh, Rhiannon. Move. All right, I'm gonna check for traps. If there are anything. Thanks. All right, go ahead. No worries. It's is perfectly anything? safe. Actually, perfectly safe. <laughs> <laughs> Uthadar and uh, Gim, you both notice that something is definitely awry with this floor. Every once in a while, you can kind of tell that there is a. Uh, a ripple in this floor, I guess you could say. Ripple. And also, uh, let's, let's, Gim, let's you're... the statue into the room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if there's anything. Any okay. And... Way around it. As, as you actually are rolling it in, uh, your roll was... Your perception check was really good, Gim, and you can actually tell that there is sort of like a massive, looks like a massive growth on the ceiling. And it doesn't look like slime because you've encountered slime before and dust and, and mold, but this, this appears to be uh, uh, rather different. So you are All definitely right. going to roll the, the stone into the floor. Onto the floor, into yep. the middle of the room. Okay, yep. you kind of launch the the wagon wheel. Well, I'm sorry, the the stone wheel into the the room, and as you do that, it kind of you know t teeters around a little bit, and then it hits the ground. And as soon as that happens, the floor actually comes alive and starts to wrap around the wheel, and a large gelatinous type of creature uh, goes on top. Of the wheels, so it, it sort of formed a clam-shaped type of uh, cocoon around the wheel, and then you can you can hear the wheel kind of screaming through, you know, through the floor and through the roof. But it, well, <laughs> the, the, the wheel's not happy. <laughs> I feel a bit bad for it, you know. Okay, so terrible. what did you do? <laughs> you, please. I saw this lurker and trapper many years ago. I didn't know they were here. I didn't know you were going to push me into this room. I'll get you, my pretty. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, we're going to we're going to take this do. on. Uh, ranged attacks need to happen, or we're rolling initiative. One of the